In this short module, we will cover the different types of electromagnetic radiation used for remote sensing and review part of the U.S. radio frequency spectrum. Electromagnetic radiation occurs in a wide range of wavelengths and corresponding frequencies. In the gray box here, different types of radiation are labeled surrounding their corresponding wavelength, which is shown on the top axis, and frequency, shown on the bottom axis. In this course, we will discuss applications in the microwave, infrared, and visible part of the EM spectrum. First, we will discuss passive instruments in the visible and the IR, and then passive microwave, and finally active sensing instruments such as radar. The US radio spectrum, outlined on the next slide, is bounded by the red lines on this figure. This busy figure shows different allocations within the radio and microwave part of the spectrum. Each color represents a different type of allocation, which you can see by zooming in on the figure in your set of slides for this video over here on the left side. The full text table of the allocations can be found at the link below the figure. Broad swaths are reserved for radio and TV broadcasting, particularly less than 800 megahertz. At higher frequencies, allocations tend to be narrower. A few meteorological applications that we will cover in this class are circled in white. S-band, C-band, and X-band radar are just these examples. The next figure is zoomed in on the second to bottom row on the previous slide. Again, C-band and X-band are circled, and black arrows point to other meteorological and Earth exploration satellite allocations. Over the course of this class, we'll discuss why certain bands are preferred for these various applications.